Today we're here to give you an inside look at the San Francisco Department of Public Works Materials Testing Lab. The lab is responsible for ensuring public safety by testing the quality and integrity of the materials that go into our city's infrastructure. It was originally located in City Hall, but after the 1989 Loma Prieta earthquake, it was relocated to the North Beach area. Senior Construction Inspector Darren Seifert was kind enough to take time out of his day to give us a tour. My name is Darren Seifert. I've been with the Materials Testing Laboratory for many years. Started with the city in the 80s. And we've had great people come through this lab. Everything from construction inspectors to engineers who are now chiefs and everything. It's a great starting point for engineering and construction management because you learn the importance of quality assurance, quality control. The first test he showed us was the compressive strength test, which is used on samples of concrete from projects around the city. Before testing, concrete samples are stored in a pool in order to cure the concrete and prevent them from being contaminated before testing. They are also stored in the fog room on a long-term basis. He takes a slice from the cylinder to visually examine the consistency of a concrete sample. Well, notice that these certain uh, areas in the concrete have voids in them. There's a certain depth of void that we cannot exceed. This machine has the ability to exert 300,000 pounds of pressure onto a sample. The pressure will eventually break the cylinder, and how it breaks determines the quality of the sample. Darren explains the results of this test. We have a chronicle break, which indicates that we had great direct axial load, so going on top, going on bottom. And then we look inside to see, make sure that there's nothing like a, a fissure or something that might indicate that this actual sample is failing in some other way. This one looks very nice, it's very concise. You can actually see the individual stones and pockets and the mortar and the, and the concrete and the sand that make it better. So it's a good break. Another test is the tensile strength test, which tests the strength of steel. Here, Darren has placed a rod of steel in the machine, which will be pulled and stretched like a rubber band until it breaks. Right in this area here, it looks like to me that might be where it could occur. And that's right where it was. Again, we take a look and see inside. We have nice, just clean break. If you look for discolorations or anything else that might indicate that there might be something wrong with the steel, but generally this one here broke right in the right spot, right where it was supposed to, right within our range. The soil compaction test is important for buildings to avoid the leaning tower of Pisa effect. In other words, the ground must be made up of soil that can provide a strong foundation and must be made compact enough. The engineer should use a nuclear probe that sends out gamma rays to the surrounding soil which then bounce back to the machine to be recorded. The more rays that bounce back, the denser the soil is. The soil is also separated into parts of equal sizes to study its consistency. How does the lab know if it is correctly testing if a steel bar is strong enough or if the soil is dense enough? Darren explains. This is what's called the whole ASTM standard, okay? American Society for Testing and Materials. This is actually our testing Bible. Mm. This tells us not what the specs are, but it tells us how to perform each test on a step-by-step -step basis. There's one more machine we forgot to mention. No, not this one. What about the roads? How do we test them? Excellent. Okay. So you asked me about the other tests we do. We do asphalt testing here. We actually take physical samples of the asphalt that's used on the roadways. But this is what we drive on and what uh, we ride our bikes on everywhere in San Francisco. And there are certain requirements that this stuff has to have. This stuff is called asphalt. It's a mixture of aggregate, sand, bitumen, or what we call oil, of all different degrees. And in San Francisco, we have requirements for each and every job. So we'll actually take this sample in the field and we will put it inside one of these furnaces. And we use these furnaces now. These furnaces get up to thousands of degrees of temperature. We like to use these ones here because it no longer uses chemicals. We actually burn it off, and that's okay for the environment. That temperature gets so hot, it's not, um, that, not that invasive to our environment. But it stops us from getting any kind of like 
generating waste. And we don't want to generate any chemical waste. So then what happens is we get a sample from the field, and after it gets burned off, it begins to look just like this. Okay, we have a sample here. This is the breakdown of the actual aggregate itself without any oil in it. We will break this down into its individual sizes, and its shape, and its numbers, calculate percentages, and make sure it's right. But we have a tan colored sample right here, and we, have a, and we have the dark, dark oil sample. Again, this oil part was burned off. And the difference in weight between this one and this one will let us know how much oil was used. And that's the real important part of the mix. Like if you're making a cake and it calls for a certain amount of eggs or whatever, or flour to make it work right, we require a certain amount of oil to make it work. And that's exactly what we test here. It's an ongoing test for all our streets and service. Not only are the staff expected to be able to perform all the tests, they also are required to perform tests out in the field at the different work sites. After the lab tour, Darren took us to one of the sites they are currently working on, where we got to see the soil being tested firsthand with the nuclear counter. Here, DPW is testing soil compaction at one of its many pump station projects. The materials testing lab has existed for generations and plays an essential role in ensuring safe and sustainable infrastructure for the city and county of San Francisco.